The natural log of 3 times x is a composite function, so to take its derivative we need to use the chain rule, which tells us the derivative of a composite function f of g of x is f prime of g of x multiplied by g prime of x. So we need to accurately identify our outside function, which we'll call f of x, and our inside function, which we will call g of x. In this case, our outside function, f of x, is simply ln, ln of a thing. So f of x is ln x. The inside function, g of x, is the thing that's inside the ln. In this case, that is 3x. Having identified f and g, we can use the chain rule, which tells us the derivative will begin with f prime, the derivative of the outside function. The outside function is ln x, and its derivative is 1 over x. However, it's not x that we want in the f prime, rather it's g of x, the inside function. So it shouldn't be x that's down here, it should be g of x, which is 3x. Then we just multiply by g prime, the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is 3x, and the derivative of that is 3. You can see there's cancellation, and the derivative turns out to be 1 over x. And you can see how it would have worked out the same way, no matter what number was getting multiplied by x, as long as it's non-zero. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.